Hey everyone, it's All Handling Films here, and today I'm going to be discussing about whether Star Wars should return to its original May release date. Now, in case you haven't didn't know already, that Star Wars Episode Nine had been uh, has officially been confirmed for a May 2019 release date. I don't know when this was confirmed uh, a couple days ago, and basically I'm going to be talking about how I, I feel about this. Well, as we all know, the original six Star Wars movies, episodes one through six, all came out in May, around the May, uh, I'd say 15 through 20. They all came around during that time. I don't know the date for the episode nine, but forget about that. So then, we took a break from that, out came The Force Awakens, and then boom, December release dates. December release dates for Force Awakens, Rogue One, and now The Last Jedi. So, and honestly, I like the December release dates. And here's why. In the summer, is usually, and this is just a me personally thing, in the summer, there's a lot of Marvel movies that I usually like to watch. And I'm always looking forward to them. And then I got, and then now I'm getting used to the fact that Star Wars is my December movie month. That's what Star Wars is, my December movie month. The summer is all my Marvel movie months. That's what it is. And now you're going to throw all of them in. I'll have nothing for December and nothing after the summer to keep me satisfied and looking forward to anything for the rest of the year. Because I won't have anything. Now, the chances are that Episode Nine stays as a December release date. In my opinion, very slim. The Last Jedi was supposed to come out in May of this year. And obviously not, because it got pushed back to December 2017, which I like. Do I personally think this will happen with Episode 9? Yeah, I honestly do think. They have so much in production right now that it's bound to get pushed back. I bet it will, and I hope it does. Because then, a year and a half waiting for Star Wars, I just don't like it. I don't. And I hope that, this, that the new Han Solo movie also gets pushed back to December. Because honestly, when that comes out... Avengers 3 Infinity War comes out. I'm going to be looking forward to that probably a lot more than Han Solo movie because I'm not really looking forward to the Han Solo movie that much to be honest with you guys. I'm really not looking forward to it. I don't want it, but that's for another video. Now, should they do a May release date? Well, let's think about it. For the next, for uh, two years from now, including 2018, 2019, if they want to go with May release dates, they have to compete with their own franchises, which is really stupid. Because think about it. We see The Last Jedi. If the Han Solo movie stays in May, we see The Last Jedi. Five months later, we get Han Solo. But, we get Avengers Infinity War. We hadn't gotten an Avengers movie since 2015, Age of Ultron. You can count Civil War as another Avengers movie, I get it, but it's not actually titled that. And it's still been two years since we've seen all those guys on the big screen together. So more people are going to be, in my opinion, looking forward to that more than just a Han Solo spin-off movie. And then, the following year, Episode 9 is supposed to come out in May. So is Avengers 4. It's supposed to come out in May of that year, too. You're competing again with another big movie that's your own. From a marketing decision, it makes no sense. Now I heard that they were talking about, a rumor is that with episode 9 moving it back because there was something to do with Avatar 2. Now let me get this straight, why would you be worried about Avatar 2? That movie came out in what, 2009, 2010? Something like that. And honestly, I didn't really like it that much. I didn't think it, that was, it was that good. I think only people liked it so much was because the visual effects were so stunning. Which for that time, yeah, they are. But it's not that good story-wise, it's really not. And how would you do a sequel? And I've heard nothing. Nothing really about this movie that much. I don't think, I don't know who's in charge of that production. I don't think they've got the ball rolling. You can keep episode 9 in December. Because honestly, no one cares about Avatar. A lot of people, the average common folk, have forgot about that movie. Or have never even seen it and don't care to see it, like myself. I caught it on TV, didn't really like it. I didn't find anything interesting in it. Just, yeah, the visual effects, they're, they're pretty good, but can't get into the story. I don't get into the characters. I don't care. But anyways, enough of that. Should Star Wars go back to a May release date? Yes, historically, traditionally, it's always May. But I think me and a lot of people have gotten used to the fact of a December release date. I like it. Around the holidays, Star Wars and Christmas, man, they just go so well together and I love it. 
If I don't have that, then it kind of takes the fun out of it. It gives when my Christmas break comes. That it's like, oh yeah, I got Star Wars to go see over the break. I'm not gonna have that anymore. I'll have nothing to do really, honestly. I usually take it. We take a trip sometimes, but I want to see Star Wars over the break and Marvel in the summer. That should be Disney's thing. Marvel summer and they occasionally have a November movie, and Star Wars in December. You need to stick with that. They proved it works, and they're always making a bunch of money. Because one, there's not that much competition to compete with. You throw it in May, you're competing with Avengers, which I predict would actually beat out something like a Han Solo movie. Episode nine, not so much. I'm not. I'm not sure because it's an episodic Star Wars. A standalone, yeah, it would most likely beat out something like that. Because we've been they've been building up to meeting Thanos, and that's the big bad battle. So, from a marketing standpoint, it makes no sense. It really doesn't. Why would you have your two biggest franchises competing for each other? You might lose money. You might. I don't know if you will, but you might. So, my opinion? No. Disney, if you're listening, you're probably not. But all these other, those other people out there, they need to, I think, stick with the December release date. I do personally think the Han Solo movie will be pushed to December. I really do. It makes more sense. And I don't know, I don't think they've gotten production going pretty well. I, 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 have they even finished casting yet? Are they even done with that? I don't even know. And then the same thing with episode 9. Episode 9, maybe a month or two, now it might be a while before they finally say where we pushed it back to December. Makes more sense. And that's what I think. Tell me in the comments what you think below. All Henley Films, out.